just got back from garage sales today. Went to four sales um, just in the neighborhood here. And um, yeah, I found some stuff, filled up the table here. Everything I found today is on the table right now. Uh, just barely fits. So um, probably the find of the day right here is this bucket of CDs. These are all um, these AM Gold CDs. I've sold these before, or I've picked them up for, I guess not all of them, there's some other ones thrown in, but most of them are AM Gold. Most of them are pre-owned. However, there are some sealed ones. Um, these things I've sold before. I think I might have some listed too. Yeah, here's a sealed one. And um, the pre-owned ones could probably lot up. The sealed ones I might be able to sell separately. But um, yeah, $5 for this whole this whole little bucket here is quite a steal. Also, there was this uh, sealed DVD, Symphony Number no. 5, thrown in there as well. So um, I could probably make some, make some nice lots, and I should do really well on that. Really good find. At the same sale, I picked up a bunch of these Memorex travel speakers. These are brand new, sealed. Um, I paid two bucks a piece for them, and I have a bunch of them. I mean, these are like the older ones, though. Like, I don't think the new iPhones like plug into the dock like that, though. So, um, I don't know. They work for iPods, though. Someone should want them. I could do a nice multi-quantity listing on these because I have that whole sealed box full of them, and then these. So I have seven of these things. I paid two bucks a piece. These things aren't that bright, though. I I could have maybe passed up on these because um, they are heavy. You know, they're gonna have shit priority. But just because they're all sealed and I can just do one listing and put all seven up in, in it, I decided to pick them up. So we'll see how those go. I'm not really sure how I'm going to price them, though, but they're really not that valuable. But it just seemed like an easy an easy listing and all that, so I decided to pick those up. Probably could have passed on those, though. We will see. Got this Dora the Explorer um, little book set. You know, these hard children's books. Yeah, a whole set of them. This was $3.50. I don't know what I can get for that, but decided to grab that. Got this Boston cassette tape. This is brand new sealed. Paid $2 for that. And then over here, <clears throat> there was some interesting stuff at this sale. First up, I picked up these uh, Tomahawk pocket knives. Paid two bucks a piece for these. I have five of them. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look these up or anything, but they are brand new with the eagle on it and stuff. Um, I just decided to take a chance on these. Once again, I could do a multi-quantity listing on this. You know, I got five of them, so yeah, we'll see the, how those go. I can't imagine they have that much value, but once again, easy listing. Um, at the same sale, I grabbed this Matchbox um, Vintage Collector's Catalog for a dollar. Took a gamble on it. Got this, this appears to be like a vintage NASA huge patch for a buck. Yeah, decided to grab that. Then the guy at the sale just gave this to me for free. Gerber Products Company Billion Dollar Club Fiscal 1989 together we can like coin metal thing i don't know but it was free so i took it and also picked up two pairs of these shoes these are brand new with tags bucket feet these are women's shoes like slip-on type things um, i paid five dollars a pair for these uh don't know what they're gonna go for just took a gamble on it uh pretty much most of the stuff today i just took a gamble on Except these CDs, I know these are good. And then last up, um, I bought Japanese mangas again. I don't know what I get myself into, but like I know there's money here, but this is probably not the best buy for my situation right now. When I'm running out of space and have a bunch of stuff, but I couldn't pass it up. And I kind of paid up for these as well. Um, I've picked up Japanese mangas in the past. I've gotten them for super cheap before. I've gotten them for like regular price. Um, and they do sell, and they sell for decent money, but they just take a long time to sell because you have to find like the right buyer that like wants a manga book in Japanese. But I still, I picked up a bunch of these a long time ago. I've sold some every now and then. I don't think I've sold any in a while, but I still have a ton listed. And then I also decided to grab these. So probably could have passed on this stuff too based on my situation, but I decided to pick it up. I couldn't help myself. I mean, here is like a, a set one through 14. It's in plastic and everything. Um, I paid $15 for this set, though. I don't know what I can get for this, but um, it's going to be way more than $15. Bucks and ships media mail and all that. So, yeah, I decided to grab these. This stack here was $20, but I believe there's like 20 books here. And once again, I got one series that's um, like all books through 1 through 15. And then 16 is missing, but they have 17. 
And then there's some other series with like four books down there. It's kind of got like two series in this slot. So um, yeah, with these things, you got to look up the ISBN number and figure out like what these are even called because you can't even tell. But um, it's kind of like a pain to figure out, but uh, it's doable if you put in the time. And yeah, uh, there's good money to be made here. But once again, this is like a super long tail item. You got to wait for that, um, just that right buyer. But um, yeah, decided to grab those. This sale was like a, a Japanese garage sale. I've been to these before. I've been to a couple of them before and like, you just show up and it's just all Japanese people and they got all Japanese stuff. And that's just how it goes. And But you can find cool stuff. I found like video games before at one of these type of sales. It might be the same people doing it over and over. I don't know. Um, and then also at that sale, I picked this up. This was $10. This is a DVD set. It's a nine DVD set. I don't think this is the original seal. It doesn't look like it. But um, they seem to be in good condition. Problem is, this is a Region 2. These are Region 2 DVDs. Um, if you're not aware, some DVDs have, like, regions for them. There's region-free DVDs, which they'll play in all regions, but a lot of them have, like, Region 1, Region 2. Like, here in the United States, like, our DVD players and stuff play Region 1 discs. So Region 2, I think, is, like, Europe and Japan and somewhere else, too. So when I go to list this, um, it's going to take a very specific buyer that's going to want this. It's going to be someone that, like was from Europe or Japan or something that lives in the United States now, and they still have their, like, you know, electronics from their country before they got here so they could play this. But I just couldn't pass this box set thing up. It looked very unique, and um, I briefly looked it up, and I only saw, like, one of these listed for, like, I think 70 bucks or something like that. So I don't know. I took a gamble on this. This might be, like, a long tail item as well. But, like, you know, I love selling DVDs, and this box set I just couldn't pass up. So, um, yeah, I grabbed it. Um, yeah, that's all I found today. Some pretty cool stuff here. Let's see, I spent $91.50 at all the sales here today, which is, um, I don't know, it is what it is. I got some stuff cheap, uh, some stuff not, but that's just the way it goes. And, um, yeah, I mean, depending on, like, what this stuff goes for, like, I might be able to make that money back with, like, one of these giant sets, depending on how much... Um, they're worth. I have to look into it though, and then everything else should be profit. Uh, my favorite find of the day was this bucket of CDs. I think I saw um, Lonnie from Garage Flips sell lots of these before too, but I know I've sold these or at least picked these up before, and I know they're decent even in pre owned condition, especially if you can lock them up. But um, yeah, that's everything I found today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. The link to my eBay store is in the video description. Until next time. If you have more, let me know. Take them off, you'll let them go. I'm here to scoop up everything. Curtis, aka Dividend King. It's in the air that I breathe. Collecting dividends every week. Cash flow is how I roll. Sweeping is how it grows.